Um, so decomposers. Decomposers, Dave. Yeah, this is the uh, the category that really, if you like, does the rotting. Uh, and the biggest part of this would be the fungi. Right. You know, they they have the uh, the fungal mycelium that that will spread out. But those mycelium also release enzymes that will actually penetrate uh, materials and get in and, and start to break down, uh, you know, bigger pieces, uh, and uh, you know, render them more available to uh, to the smaller organisms. You know, so that's you know that's if you see a you know if I'm sure you you've lifted up your mulch you know when it's been moist weather and you'll see oh okay there's a web of white white hyphae yeah that's right that's the that's the fungi that are growing in there that are breaking down that mulch and getting the nutrients from that mulch right uh, some bacteria will do the same thing but they're a lot smaller right uh, bactinomycetes will do the same thing but again they're sort of intermediate in size between the fungi and the uh, the bacteria you know so it's uh, when we talk about the decomposers it's, it's most often the, the fungi that we're talking about doing the biggest part of that work Right, and then by by decomposing something, they're they're changing its state, its structural state, so that it can yep. be more digestible by other things. Yep, yep. And really opening it up, that you've got more surface area that's accessible to other other critters. Right. Yeah, I've always been amazed at wood, where you know you have this you know hard hard stuff that you can barely whittle with a knife, <laughs> and over time it can become sponge like, where you can literally squeeze it and water will come out. Yep. And that was something you could have used as a club, um, <laughs> you know, a, a few years beforehand. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. a, a bulk, I mean, it really, nothing's eating that wood yet. It's just, you know, decomposing. And that's, um, to a large extent, I would imagine, fungi doing that work. Yep, yep. Um, that's exactly right. But if, if you think about, you know, if, you know, if you ever go to the, the bush and, uh, you know, cut wood and then pile it to make it, uh, you know, let it dry. Yeah. Stuff that's up off the ground? No rot. Yes. You know, it'll the stuff that's on the ground, and it'll just be the bottom of the log where, where, yeah. where it's touching the ground. It's doomed. It's yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah. it stays moist there, and you've got the contact where the fungi, for those fungal hyphae, can grow up into the wood. Right. Yeah. I mean, so it's, it's, it's very, very much dependent on the environment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it goes to your your analogy of more uh, more living things in a teaspoon than there are people on the earth. That's right. You know that you just look at that forest floor as just some leaves and stuff that's just crawling with life, <laughs> right? Just just waiting for an opportunity to decompose something, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? The right conditions. Everybody's hungry. <laughs> All right, so it's the decomposers, the digesters. Yeah, and that's that's where we get into the uh, the bacteria. Uh, you know, they're they're actually yeah, taking it the next step down to uh, you know the simplest compounds and incorporating those materials in, into their bodies right uh, you know and and using using enzymes using uh, you know, yeah bacteria don't have don't have mouths per se they tend to take stuff that's already soluble or also release an enzyme that dissolves it and then they uh, will uh, absorb it that way right I also, I think it's also, it's hard for us humans to understand these different forms of life and their life cycles. Cause you know, we think, okay, there's a worm and it's doing worm things and there's a bacteria and it's doing bacteria things. But we're thinking like a human, like it's going to do it for 90 years. I mean, some oh, of these no. things are, you know, it's, it's like <laughs> alive for like a day or two and then it's dead and then something eats it or something decomp and then that thing is alive for a, you know, a week and it's dead sort of thing yep, like yep. These things are living and dying the rate of the death rate the, the rate the rate of turnover <laughs> yeah yeah and it's yeah it's hard to get a handle on you know just exactly how long an individual bacteria would uh, would survive in the soil but then they're also yes they have a short lifetime lifespan they die they also multiply they split yes but again they split again so they can uh, their numbers can increase very, very quickly. You know, right. It is a, it really is the the uh, the model for exponential growth. Yes. Uh, so we can say, well, a lot of them died, but that original line is still alive. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Which which one died? You know, we we had <laughs> no. you know, two, four, eight, sixteen. You know, 
uh, you know, the mold numbers go way up and then, you know, 15 to the 16 die. Well, was it, is the original one still alive or is it a different one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, okay. Another one of these, it was the grazers. Yep. And, and the grazers, cause it, it, it really is a complete ecosystem in the soil. It's not just, uh, you know, creatures in the soil breaking down the plants that have been put there. There are other critters that say, I can use what's growing on the, uh, the decomposing material as a food source. I see. Uh, you know, so we have, you know, at a microscopic or submicroscopic level, uh, we've got the, uh, the equivalents of the, uh, the coyote and the, the uh, fox and the jaguar and the lion. Only in this okay. case, it's, uh, you know, the paramecia or the amoeba that will go along and they will, and the nematodes, and they will go along and they will, they will eat bacteria and they will eat fungi and they will eat actinomycetes. You know, they're, they're specialized, specialized predators. Right. Yes. You know, so they're going in and, and saying, I'll take advantage of that and I will use that for my purposes. Right. That's an analogy. I'll, I mean, I try, I try to simplify things on my YouTube channel, but I think like you look at the soil system and I mean, what's going on in here is that there's a whole bunch of things living in here and every one of those things, something always, something's <laughs> essentially going in one end and coming out the other end. Yep. And uh, just the other day I had a, a viewer and they were talking about manure and you know, which cow manure, pig manure, chicken manure, that sort of thing. And what do you use? And, um, well, I said, um, I, uh, I, I, I've used all of those different things over, over time, but in recent years, I just mulch my garden. And, but I still have manure in my garden because the, the soil life is there. It's making, I mean, every time I add a new, you know, layer of mulch, I'm basically feeding that system. Right. And there's things acting on that mulch and there's stuff going in one end, there's stuff going on the other end, everything's killing each other and feeding on each other. And there's just a whole lot of digesting going on and the outcome of digestion is manure. Uh, so I've got like insect and, you know, tiny animal manure, but it's all manure. Right. Um, it's just, you know, not manure you can see in any particular way, but it's still manure in my opinion anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so if a, if a paramecium goes and, uh, and uh, grazes on a bunch of bacteria and then poops out its waste, a lot, a lot of that waste is just exactly the same as livestock manure. Yeah, you just got paramecium manure. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, 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 of... <laughs> very, 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 very small livestock. <laughs> exactly, but I mean it's great because I didn't have to truck it in, you know. <laughs> uh, no, it's just, and it's just there. It's just waiting for more, you know. Yep. Just saying, please feed me, you know, give me more. Um, okay, so that's the. Uh, great...